launched and my honorable minister is excited that this kind of cable will change the facet of how education is delivered. We all know what the internet can do for education. So we want to um, extend appreciation to the teachers by providing free of charge uh, a fully fledged internet setup for the Methodist Academy, not only in the classrooms, <coughs> not only in the classrooms, dedicate a Wi-Fi zone whereby the students in the school can use the facility to you do research and other things, other things to further boost your education. First Bank have won awards both nationally and internationally. I think if you win 17 awards, both internationally in the United States and also in the United Kingdom, and nationally by the GCCI, that really is not an accident. You must be doing something right. In the same vein, if for 11 years now, every year Methodist is there, they must be doing something right, don't you think? And this year, they have gone even further. They are responsible for seven of the awardees. Just like Trust Bank, that cannot be an accident. We really salute you, Methodist Academy, and um, <laughs> Mrs. Hannah Harding is the principal, and I think she deserves some recognition. It will be the first uh, award we're going to give today, and it's going to Methodist Academy for their outstanding performance, but we also want to recognize you as a role model for other schools to emulate. So my general manager and my MD agreed that we will uh, award you $15,000 just to go along with the connectivity that Mr. Nya is giving you. A big thank you to the management of Trust Bank. They have always been very, very supportive and we appreciate it. Every year, right, we are lucky to have um, awardees coming from our school. And also when we have our speech and prize given, I trust Bank is always there to give a number of prizes to our deserving students. Right, that the private sector should take an interest in education and help to promote the program of education all the time. I am sure what Trust Bank is doing, right, particularly every year giving us this award ceremony, right, is a good incentive to our children Right, because not only our own students, but students across the Gambia, because once they see this on TV, on radio, on any of the other media, right, I'm sure the others would want to work as equally hard as these awardees have done, and that will help promote quality education in the country. So we want to congratulate Cross Bank and thank them very much for their support. I, am, I have just come back from a week in the provinces. And when we go to the provinces, we visit dignitaries in the provinces. We visit the alcalos, the chiefs, the governor, if they are present. And every time we at Trust Bank meet members of the community there, they always, without fail, and I've been doing this for eight, nine years now, they will always say, your manager who you have here in this branch, please don't transfer him. And I just learned that every manager we have, whenever we're transferring them, there is an outcry in the whole village or in the whole town. And it always, it's not, it doesn't amaze me. I am an insider at Trust Bank. Maybe it amazes the people outside. But I always tell these people that we don't just send anybody to our provinces. We select them because they are representative of Trust Bank. Remember, during colonial times, the British always sell a cent they are first-class citizens to us, always. That's why we in Africa grew up with the perception that all the people from Europe are highly educated, are always of the best behavior, because they are where the representatives of those colonialists in this country. It's the same at Trust Bank when we send people. We send people who can represent us well. They say leadership is what happens when you are not there. And I salute our MD, he is our leader, and he sets the tone. 
That's why even in the provinces, he's not there. But everybody post the line and perform in a way that is consistent with what transpires at the bank. As I said earlier, he sets the tone. At Trust Bank, not only are we preoccupied with delivering targeted banking solutions, but we also remain personally committed to the promotion of quality education as a prerequisite to national development. As such, the Excellent Award Program is to recognize and motivate students for their record performance in exams. It is our belief that students, parents, guardians, and the government will appreciate the awards as one of our bank's contributions to the development of the education sector. On behalf of the board, management, and staff of Trust Bank Limited, I'm happy to announce that each winner will go home with a brand new laptop, a student's savings account with an amount of $3,000, and a Trust Bank Certificate of Excellence. This year again, we have included a laptop in the package because we believe strongly that ICT will continue to gain particular significance in the future of these students, both as a learning tool and as a prerequisite for their future professional lives. On behalf of the board of directors, management and staff, and indeed on behalf of our valuable customers, I congratulate the students on these well-deserved awards and encourage them to continue to work hard in their subsequent programs of study. We also want to recognize the individual roles played by principals and teachers, as well as parents and guardians, for providing the much needed support to these students. We wish to recognize the tremendous efforts of the Department of State for Basic and Secondary Education and all stakeholders in the annual pursuit for excellence in education. Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, students, I wish to seize this opportunity to reaffirm our bank's commitment to our social responsibilities. In partnership with government and other stakeholders, Trust Bank will continue to fulfill its role in key sectors of society, namely health, education, disaster relief, and sports. Trust Bank's contribution to the education sector will continue with our annual donations to schools at speech and prize giving days, including the convocation ceremony of the University of the Gambia. Honorable Minister, the Excellence in the Millennium Awards, which we are witnessing this morning, is to show our bank's commitment to excellence in our schools. It is our bank's continued resolve to strengthen partnership with your Department of State in a bid to provide quality education, which is an indispensable prerequisite for national development. Once again, I congratulate our hardworking students, teachers, parents, and wardens of this prestigious award ceremony. I also wish to congratulate the rest of the 2012 Grade 9 exam batch on the reaching an upper level in their career and encourage them to continue to strive for better results in their Grade 12 program. I thank you for your presence and attention. In Janjambure, when I was young, I went to school there. I lived in Sapo. I used to walk to Brikamaba to school. So I know how it used to be and how it is today. And when you're driving very early in the morning from any provincial towns, you will see the passion and the purposefulness with these students as they are going on about their affairs, heading to school on time. You understand? And then you look at them, you see the amount of girls in that group. And at first, maybe a lot of girls in the schools can just be looked at as tokenism. All we're doing is try to encourage more girls to come in through the system very quickly, and then we will tick the box. But I think today the evidence we have here is not just ticking the box. 
We have six awardees who are all girls. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure you 